what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel so i thought it's been some time since we guys have really really talked and i also took about a week and a half almost two weeks of a break from filming i kind of just needed it sometimes you guys don't understand when you're always filming and always creating content you just need a break sometimes so i took a little miniature break for the longest time i've been trying to find someone like you but i keep crashing back into all the things that you would do i'm actually on my way to the gym but before we go i kind of want to update you guys on a few things first up i don't know if you guys saw my last video where i colored and bleached my hair but basically the color is already washing out not really mad about it kind of like this pastel pink more than the first color also i got a new rock and i'm so in love with it i'm still waiting on getting a new rock in the main room anyways i'm gonna go to the gym i've been staying consistent to the gym i only missed a few workouts but often when i don't feel like i have time to go to the gym i end up substituting it with an at-home workout highly recommend you guys do it too please hold yourself accountable if you don't have time to go to the gym just bust out the dumbbells at home there is no excuses and you know what else really helps on working out consistently let me show you i take half to a full scoop of this one it's a pre-workout i highly recommend to get the black cherry vanilla which is the best flavor they have and then I mix it with clear whey isolate, especially because I didn't eat like a heavy meal today. I just ate three slices of... So what I had was three slices of rice cakes. I put some cream cheese on those and then some smoked salmon. So it's not like I had a heavy breakfast slash lunch kind of later in the day right now. So that's why I like to mix my clear whey isolate. So yeah, obviously you don't need supplements to achieve your goals. I just want to make that disclaimer, but I highly, highly recommend to take some kind of pre-workout or maybe some BCAAs before you work out and it just makes the workout 10 times better. I also quickly want to say and raise some awareness that it is mental health awareness day i did make a long very personal post on my instagram about mental health especially because i do have a sister who is uh, diagnosed with schizophrenia asperger's depression anxiety so i definitely feel strongly about um my protein decided to run a campaign to spread mental health awareness so right now if you buy one of these metal shakers which by the way is a damn good shaker they donate a large portion to a lot of mental health facilities worldwide including denmark where i'm from but obviously you don't have to get one of these but i just feel like you not only are going to donate to mental health facilities but you also get a good shake out of it which also might motivate you to go to the gym more so it's like a win 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 i'm really not trying to make this intro longer than necessary but i just want to mention that if you feel like you're going through something mentally please talk to somebody about it it is so important to get support for whatever you're feeling whether that's be professional help or from your friends and family i really want to talk about how to break out of that stigma of keeping mental healthness hushed down like not a lot of people like talking about it so yeah that's basically just what i want to mention but if you want a shaker like this it comes in different colors as well or if you want any of the supplements that I showed, I will be linking all of these products down in the description um, to check out. And also in October, my protein is running a lot of discounts. So don't forget to use my discount code as well if you want to save a little bit on your purchase as well. But anyways, enough talking. Let's head to the gym. hey what's up you guys and welcome to this video's voiceover so i'm not gonna do a voiceover throughout this whole entire workout but i did wanted to talk about some of the few exercises in this workout one of them being this first drop set and super set with the trx so first we're starting with some 
elevated push-ups I would say and then I drop set it whenever I take a step forward because it becomes easier. So first I start as low as I personally can. I make sure to keep my core as tight as possible while also trying to maintain my control and balance while performing these push-ups with the TRX. Okay, so this kind of made me laugh on the inside. I was just like, really? <laughs> so my socks clearly made me slide, so you probably would need some shoes for this just like me. But then after the TRX push-ups, I switch over and do some TRX rows. And these are definitely also very challenging, just like the push-ups. And I'm also doing drop sets with these, just like the TRX push-ups. So it's a super set and I do about, I would say, five reps for each station of the drop set before I take a step backwards if you're doing the rows, so it becomes easier. So after my drop set super set for my upper body, I decided I wanted to do some front squats. So this is my first time doing front squats after this whole quarantine. I don't think I've done any type of barbell squats since the quarantine started in, I believe, end of March. Or was it April? Okay, anyways. So I started really light. First, I just started with a warm-up round before I added some weight. And then I just kind of focused more on higher reps rather than just piling on the weight. And I also just can't really lift that much in my front squats compared to my back squats. I do have a video explaining more about my squats and how to perform squats with a proper form in another video so I highly recommend for you guys to watch it if you feel like you still need a little bit of guidance for your squat form. Okay, so then I moved on to deadlifts. This is a whole nother ball game. I don't even know where to start with explaining my deadlifts, but basically this is my first reps of deadlifts after the whole quarantine. So yeah, I was really excited to start that up again. I definitely been missing doing conventional deadlifts. It's still definitely a movement that I'm still working on, but I feel like I have gotten a really great understanding of it, especially for what my body type is. So lastly, I'm finishing off with a booty, aka a glute burnout. One of my number one tips and advice to getting bigger glutes is that add these little isolated glute exercises in between your workouts or as a burnout at the end of your workout. And also I would highly recommend to add some activation exercises before you even start your workout. You can do all these three things or you can also just pick one or another but I definitely seen a major difference when I implement a lot more glute isolated exercises into my routine. 